Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the grouping tool in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia right now and I use grouping for a couple of different things and I'll share what I use it for. All right, so this one right here, this has already been grouped and I'm gonna play it for you guys to show you what I did and why I do grouping. So I'll just play that there. And this usually goes at the end of our videos when I'm promoting my Camtasia course. So I have this sort of set thing all ready to go. It's already basically like um, a pre-made uh, templated thing that I just put in at the end of my Camtasia videos and it's to promote the course. Now it's grouped together because if I click the plus sign and I open it up, and I'll zoom in a little bit more, you can see that it's made up of a bunch of different stuff. So we've got the black shape here at the bottom, which is behind it. And then this thing right here, which is a screencast recording of the course on the website. And then these two right here, that's both these green sort of highlighted things are the whip transitions in the beginning and then the whip transitions at the end. Now, what I did initially was I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to be promoting my Camtasia course over and over in my tutorials. I don't want to have to make this thing, make this little outro course promotion clip video, I don't want to make it over and over again because that's going to waste time and it's not efficient. So what I did is I made it one time and I put all these pieces together and then I grouped it. And you basically, to group something, you right click on the whole thing. So I would highlight the whole thing and then I would right click and then you would click group. Once you do that, it encapsulates everything into this, which is like a grouped media. And then after I grouped this media, I then went right click and I went add to library. And then I named it and then I added it to my specific library so that I have this, you know, clip ready to use each time. Now you can use this if you've got like an intro thing, an outro, a subscribe thing, or if you're promoting something all the time. I'm just gonna click cancel because I already have it there. And that's pretty much what I did. Now I can take everything, I can unpack it here and show you that if I take it out, and I'll get rid of this. delete it and then move this over here. You can see this is exactly what it was and you can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six little separate elements of media and then I built that, highlighted it all and then right click and then group and then it grouped it all together and it keeps it nice in one package. Now let's scroll over here. Another thing that I use grouping on is when I'm doing a zooming. So usually I film tutorials and then I'll, I'm chopping through the whole thing and I've got like a bunch of little mini clips. So I'll just silence this video. This is me when I went bungee jumping at Whistler on January 1st. But let's say I just have like a whole bunch of chopped things, right? For whatever reason, I have all this here chopped up, but I want to do like a zooming effect or any effect really, instead of having to, because once you've chopped it, you would need to add it on individually, but if you do the grouping technique, when you group things, it makes it as one unit, one media. So again, to group, you highlight everything 
right click and then go group and then it's grouped it all together and so now I can let's say I want to add the zoom thing like I usually do I'll go to animations go to animations again custom slide this down and then I'll do the zoom in and then I can slide this all across and then now there is going to be a zooming thing even though it's chopped up I can it's gonna zoom all over across so if you can see now I am kind of moving this is like a GoPro footage so it's hard to see the zoom actually happening in place but it is actually like zooming in now if I didn't have that and you see here I'll have this I'll chop this up here right if I didn't have that and I try to do the exact same thing I want to zoom across those three clips it's not gonna let me so I'm going to again be in animations animations go to custom zoom go to zoom and pan zoom in and then when I try to slide this across I'm stopped there at the first clip it's not gonna allow me to do that and you don't wanna duplicate this and do it again and again because the zooming effect will just revert back to original it's not gonna do a continuous thing and it doesn't have to be zoom like it can be anything else like if I group this and you want to add like the visual effects and go colorize right it's being added to all three it just makes it a lot easier once you've grouped it together also if you have like a whole bunch of clips together chopped up clips when you group it together it makes it easier to move if you need to move a bunch of little pieces of clips and you've got like a lot of them sometimes Camtasia can get glitchy, it can start to lag, it's hard on the computer, but when you group it together, it's easier to move rather than moving. Because even if you try to highlight all of them and you try and move them, it might become glitchy. And I've noticed that when you group them together, it makes it a lot easier to move. So those are some ways that I use the group tool in Camtasia 2020. If you guys like these kinds of videos, you guys can check out my nine plus hour Camtasia course. It's got over 70 lectures. And if you wanna fast track your Camtasia learning and editing, I highly recommend you check it out. The link for that will be down in the description below. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.